Thank you, thank you. Welcome back to the Stand Up Now show. We have another very special guest, a uh, representative from University Preparatory School, Margaret Merlion, City of Pittsburgh. Welcome. Thank you, thank Ms. you. Miss Robin Jones. Yes. Hello, thanks for having me. Um, primarily what I wanted to talk to you today about is just the changes that we've had um, at University Prep. And as a staff member that's been there since 2008 school year when we started back up with just a ninth grade class and grown to a sixth to twelfth grade school now. By all means. Yes. Yeah. So this year we started a partnership with Success Schools, which is based out of Philadelphia. Um, and the whole purpose of that was to kind of change the school culture with the neighborhood schools closing last year and us being merged with Peabody. We saw a difference in the culture of the school. Um, not only whether the students a little different, but it changed the morale of the staff. And so we wanted to try to see what we could do differently this year. So we partnered with Success Schools along with uh, two other schools in Pittsburgh Public Schools, that would be King and um, Faison. And what we do differently this year is that we focus on keeping the school, the, the student in the school um, and having less time at home. Because as a counselor and as an administrator, you know, it becomes more of a reward system when you suspend a child, depending on the circumstances. There's mm. very few, unfortunately, students that take suspension as a punishment. They take it as a free day. So we wanted to figure out how we could decrease the amount of out-of-school time that we had, because as a school, we had a high rate for that last year. Um, and part of the partnership is that we do what is called accountability with students. And so where it might be, you know, you would go home and maybe, okay, you're going to go with Ms. Jones and help her file some papers, or you're going to go help Mr. You know, Omar, the custodian, clean up the table, something that will keep them in, but also help them understand that, you know, your importance to being here is important. Um, well, there's a lot, of, a lot of things going on with each individual student. Um, you know, they could be having problems at school, problems at home, problems in the community. Uh, how does that factor into all of these things that you're um, speaking about now? And uh, what has the response been with students, if there has been a response, or even if anything's been done? Because you just can't um, just take one student uh, and issue some type of um, punishment mm -hmm. um, and then take that same punishment and put it on another student. So how does that balance out? How do you deal with that? I mean, because all these students are on different levels. They exactly. have different problems. So exactly. how are you dealing with that? So the, the, the key word is accountability. I don't want to say punishment because that sounds so uh, punitive, but accountability, like I said, it could be different for a Cheryl than it is for Dakota. You know, if I know a student doesn't want to be kicked out of school, that might be, okay, well, you're gonna go home and sit home with your dad. That might be all the punitive uh, you know, punishment they need, or I'm just gonna have you write, or I'm gonna have you speak in front of your class. It might be something that you know that's gonna edge that, that student out of their shell, but get them to understand like what I did was not something that I want to ever be put in a position to do again. Mm -hmm. So you're, it is, it's, that's why you have to have smaller learning communities because it gives us more time to focus on our kids. I know the middle school kids and what, what this one likes. Some of them just like the, okay, do 20 jumping jacks. And they're like, mm -hmm. that's all I gotta do? You know, whereas I, if I said that to somebody else, he'd be falling apart crying, it's not, just call my mom. So I think it really depends on, you it's have not. to, yeah, snotting and crying on oh, the ground, okay. you know, but just, I mean, it, it, it takes a leader to know their students, and that's mm -hmm. why we have not just a floor leader and a director, but teacher leaders as well, because I don't, I'm, I don't teach them all day long, so mm -hmm. I might get them because they got in trouble, but that teacher, I'm blessed to know that our teachers, a lot of our teachers are from the Hill District, so they, they're in the community, and they know their students because they're, those are their families as well, so I think that helps me, at least on my floor, I can say. Yes. Um, but I do know that we, you can't, everything is not specific to or germane to each student. It's definitely different. You have to kind of, you know, tweak it a little bit. But the main thing is that we keep them in school. Yes. Um, we help them to understand that what they did was wrong, but now let's get past that. We don't want to focus on that too long because sometimes that's what that child wants to be, the distractor in the class. Okay. So we teach the teachers to keep, you know, working with your class. If that child is a distraction, you send them out. We do the accountability, they come back because the more time you're focusing on that negative behavior is the less time that the classroom is teaching is more time, less time that that child is learning. Wonderful. Round of applause for Robin Jones, everyone.
Do you know anyone doing great things in the community that we can feature on the Sun Spotlight? Email us at standupnownetwork at gmail.com or visit us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash standupnownetwork. Message in the music. Use it.